We're gonna be on the camp camping stove in a second. Fan is running, bro, and I didn't even take too much power. I'm fucking very excited about that. Somebody mentioned uh, having a small fan in the van, and there it is. And then down here, we're gonna be uh, using a stove for the first time. And I love tacos. So if any Latinas is out there and you're watching, thumbs up. <laughs> or if you know how to do some tacos and burritos, I love you. No, not not to the guys, but to the females. Yeah. So we got some ground beef here. And uh, we're about to get started, bro. I'm very happy. My friend has let me use this inverter. So I think now that I know that this battery pack is strong enough to push a fan um i'm gonna get me one and we're gonna find out how long it lasts if it's gonna last all night or is it gonna last a few days you know we'll find out so just checking in and i'll see you guys next time all right guys well the flame is going i got it on medium heat down there um so we're going to find out how this is going to work. I'm very happy. You can hear it sizzling. And I'm sure you guys got tips. So, you know, I'm just a rookie living in the van. So, you know, I'll take all the advice I could get. You know, as long as it's positive stuff. So, I'll check in in a minute. I'm happy that we got the fan up here. And I'll put the battery pack down there. And then we have the lights right here that you guys are going to start seeing in motion maybe later on tonight. But just, just just to show you for a second, they got the clip, the, the knob where you could turn it up or you could turn it down, LED. So we'll check in in, in a second. guys well i'm about to chow down i'm gonna shut the doors here um put on some netflix and uh i'm about to enjoy the meal here obviously from the music you could hear what kind of neighborhood i'm in but you know make the best count so i'll check in with you guys in a little bit this went pretty well um as you see i got the fan going got some waters and i'm about to set the netflix right here and chow down on three or four of these so i'll check in with you guys afterwards bro tonight you guys are going to see these lights in action i can't wait for that to to do its thing slowly the van slowly the van is uh making improvements here so i'll see you guys in a little bit don't want to let my food get cold guys so we're here about to get some gas here gas is uh two ninety nine yep gas is two ninety nine so I got nine dollars so I should be good for four gallons Three gallons, three gallons. So I'm guessing uh, around thirty miles.
two ninety nine. Uh, checking in again. I'm sitting in the mess right now. I've uh, been doing a lot of rearranging. As you can see, I finished this window over here now. And I kind of like it because it looks like a black shade. It's like one of those thin, like you pull the thing up and it rolls up. Like one of those uh, black shades is it's on there, you know. And I like that it's halfway down, so I still got fresh breeze coming through. And uh, as you see, I, I did the same in the back here. And eventually I'm gonna take down the blackout curtains. <sighs> and so what I'm, I'm just rearranging. And I hope that, you know, I'm, I'm still not gonna, I'm still gonna have a lot more light, you know, coming in, but so you guys can see more on, on video. But uh, for now, this is what it is. You know, and uh, I'm loving my lights. I'm loving the lights, bro. Those lights work pretty well. Let's see, you know, like so at nighttime when those lights are on, I'll be able to turn those on. And I got one on the other side over there, too. Yeah, so I'm liking these lights. The lights work well, and they, they go up also. Which you guys will probably see later on tonight. And um, I changed the dresser around the long ways now. And I'm liking that too. You know, it gives me a little bit more foot room space down there. But uh, what I really like about it is it opens up this window now. You know, because before when the dresser was faced towards that, I wasn't getting... Like a real, real good fresh breeze coming through, you know. So, just checking in with that. And uh, I'll check in later. I'm just going to relax and hang out. It's another night still camping. So, I'm going to be looking for a spot in probably like an hour. I got to do a couple more things before the night's over. And I'll be checking in with you guys soon. Peace out. Thumbs up. Yeah, guys. Uh, these lights are working beautiful. Very beautiful. I was just chilling, uh, listening to my music on my phone. And uh, it, it's a real relaxing mood due, due to the colors. It's just like very cool, calm in here, you know. And it's it's nice, bro. It's the best thing that I could have did right here in terms of lighting for right now. Because I could dim them higher or I could dim them lower. So just checking in with that. And I like the way the dresser is set up now. I could, like, I was just chilling here with the lights on and stuff. And I could picture, like, a, a flat screen TV up there, like a 19 inch TV. You know, once the battery and all that stuff and the inverter comes in. I could just picture just laying here, watching TV, you know. So I'll check in with you guys next time. That's on low. And this is on high. And it's pretty bright in here, as you can see. Well, good morning, guys. Seven o'clock, 60 degrees. Uh, as you can see from my previous videos, I got a little schedule down packed, you know, my stealth camping spots, and they seem to be going pretty good. Let's see. You know, and, uh, 
Some kid yesterday hit me up on my way back to the van with some coffee. He's like, hey, bro, do, do you live in your van? And I was like, yeah, sometime, you know. And he's like, uh, man, I, I want to live in my van. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube pe- uh, videos with people living in their van. I want to get me a van and, and live in my van. And he, we started talking. And he's like, so where do you park at? I was like, CSI information, concealed stealth information. You can't reveal that kind of stuff to people, you know. And, uh, you know, just like uh, Wanderlust Estate hit me up on uh, on the comments. He's like, so what city you in? CSI, concealed stealth information. You can't just get that information out to the public. Shots out, shots out to uh, Tyler Davis because he's like, I know where Caleb's at, but I'm not telling. <laughs> he's like, I ain't telling. Oh, shit, dude. Right on, Tyler. Thumbs up, bro. Peace out. Thumbs up. So we got 62 bottles, uh, not bottles, but we got 62 plastics. Total of uh, 52 cans. Well, guys, we got a total of uh, $6.20. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Here's the setup for tonight, guys. Um, I'm loving the lights. I'm loving them. <laughs> I'm loving them, dude. It sets su- such a calm, relaxing state of scenery when you get in here, you know. And those are turned up bright. So, like, if I was to shut the door, all right, well, you're not going to be able to see. But, you know, we, you already seen how we did the tent. You can't see nothing. But yeah, bro, that's the, that's the setup right here. I'm gonna do it with the lights off. Yeah, so that's the setup right there. And when we lay down, that's what it looks like. And that's with the highest, and it's it's pretty bright in here. So I'm not sure if that's where I'm gonna keep them, but looks good for now. And so now with the low setting, you can see that's that's what we're looking like. It's pretty relaxing. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Finally guys, we're getting some rain. Loving this. Gonna be heading back to the stealth camping spot here. And it uh, looks like I'm going to need some windshield wipers. So I'll check in it with you guys in a little bit. Maybe when I get to the spot. I'll see you guys in a second. Just put uh, $16 in, so I'm good for a total of probably 60 miles. So we're gonna reset the thing in, and uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna be heading out to the stealth camping spot. So I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Fans running cool and smooth. Thanks to all my supporters and subscribers. All right, so I found a stealth camping spot here. Right behind me is the red zone. So I should be good finding this stealth camping spot here. It's a good area. I trust that it is. Uh, 
see if we could get this parking right. So yeah, this is gonna be the stealth camping spot for tonight. No windows on both sides, so I should be good. All right, so I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Peace out and thumbs up. Never mind the police. This is gonna be a good spot for tonight. The day went good. No complaints. Oh, Amulets. Hope wherever they're going, the people are all right. So I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Peace out and thumbs up. All right, guys, uh, checking out for the night. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the weekend. We'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Slept pretty good last night. It's uh, 8.27, 57 degrees. And this new spot over here is quiet. So quiet, I better be a little bit more quiet. Check this out. Yeah, so. going good I'll check in with you, with you guys when I'm up and rolling peace out alright guys well heading out see you guys in a little bit well we're at it again bro and uh this is cooking in the first time or second time in the van. And uh, what we got here is uh, some Italian sausage. And what I'm gonna try to attempt to do is uh, throw some eggs with this and then use my uh, my tortillas that I still got from Vallarta or Vallarta. And uh, We'll have to see how this goes. I hope it goes well, but I'm gonna have to get a bigger skillet soon down the line. So I'll check in in a minute. It's finished off the uh, the sausages. I think those are pretty pretty ready to go. And now we're gonna be working on the eggs. I'm sure people with their doggies Walking past the park here, smelling this good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, let me focus back in on my cooking. And this is kind of tricky, uh, cooking in here, so I'ma hold off for now. All right, so we're working on the eggs right now. And uh, I'm sure people with their dogs walking past there, their dogs are getting a whiff of this good stuff and blowing my stealth camp spot, so. But we're not gonna trip on them. I'm sure they're eating good. And I'm sure to be eating good after I finish cooking this. Cooking for the second time with Caleb in the van. Uh, no complaints, only thing is this skillet is sliding. It, it just, it wants to slide by itself, you know? So, uh, really gotta focus in on what I'm doing here. And I'll see you guys in a second. And this food sure must be smelling good. I'm getting a lot of head turns from, from people walking, walking, jogging around this little park here. One, one, one couple, they keep just looking past the van. They keep looking inside this window every time they pass by. <laughs> boy, they smelling them cookings right there, buddy. Yeah. I mean, two times, bro. And I'm like, damn, dude, they're hitting their laps pretty quick because cause this seemed like they got back the second time quick. So they smelled them eggs. They smelled the eggs uh, the second time around. They're like, damn, dude. And due to the tent right there, they can't really 
get a good visual. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I uh, hope you guys this weekend is going good. I'm about to chow down and you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to watch some Netflix. All right, so catch you guys in a little bit. Girls is hungry. Let's see what they want. want some seeds. Yeah, I don't know too much about cooking in the van, but it smells great. The food was delicious. Um, it smells like a kitchen up in here. Yeah, them squirrels is loving them sunflower seeds. Looks like they're fat and ready for the winter time. I enjoyed the cookout with the eggs and sausage. However, uh, I don't really like the cooking in my van because I don't like the smell of cooked food lingering in, in the van, smelling like a kitchen or something, you know? So, um, just thought I'd check in with you guys. I'm just enjoying the day watching these guys eat those sunflower seeds. Looks like they're already fat and ready for the winter. Hope you guys are doing well on your weekend and we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Probably gonna head close to the gym so I can use the bathroom and brush my teeth and stuff. So we'll check in with you guys next time. Peace out. Thumbs up. That's probably Will Burson over there adding vegetables to the mix. Veggie out. Nothing like some good old fabric freshener to help get the odor out. All right, guys, we're gonna be turning it in tonight. Uh, van still smells like cooked food. Uh, so I probably won't, you won't be seeing no cooking in the van from Caleb. I think I'm going to prefer to cook outside next time. But uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out. And thumbs up. Nine twenty one And uh, 6, 7 degrees. Um, night went well, and, uh, just checking in, I'll be checking in in a little bit. It's a windy day today, guys. Shit, dude, I fucking seen the video with Camber Dave, dude. He had his sweater on, hood, fucking bundled up jacket. Fucking, it's freezing out there where he's at compared to where I'm at, but it's windy here. So uh, just checking in, I threw up the black curtains, the blackout curtains. I took them down from these windows here. So as you can see, I still got the black shade looking things that we got from the dollar store. And over here, same thing. Um, And then same thing down here. So until I could figure out how I'm gonna block this down down here because I wanted to just get like a little rope and then have like the blackout curtain cut to the exact same size where I could slide it back and forth but I don't know how that's gonna go so we're about to head out of here we're getting customers from all over the place here in the shopping center so uh we'll check up with you guys in a little bit I'm about to head out and go pay a bill little bird doing his shopping in, in, the, in the Home Depot. <laughs> He's just minding his own business. Alright 
right, so guys, what we're doing is we're trying to build the legs for the bed. I don't know if you guys, well, um, Bully mentioned it that he was like, man, you know, the bed's not sliding on the buckets. And I didn't ever answer his question, but the, the, but the answer now, the bed is sliding. Like if I hit the brakes pretty hard, but bed slides up and I'm always rearranging. So I'm going to try to uh, do the, this for uh, the bed post for the legs and see how that goes. I'll check in in a minute. Bucks. I was like, shoot. What, you ringed it up like 10 times? 1231. <laughs> Alright guys, well we're just finishing up. We're still over here at uh, Home Depot, and uh, I finished up. I threw the blackout curtains on, on the front of the, the curtain right there, so it's pretty much blackout now. Um, so I took off the curtains from right there, as you can see, and I got the lights going. And this is what we built today, this right here, and uh, paid $11, and I had them slice it all the way in even cuts. And as you can see, I still got some extra ones over there and a couple of more ones. But I wanted to screw them in, but I went and I nailed them in because I, cause fucking, I got enough screws, but shit, anyways. Um, and so I went out and I just got this because I took the buckets back and they let me exchange it for something else. So I got this and this is kind of like a junk container right now until I have to get more organized and uh let me see oh, there we go and so as you can see I got the stove right there and then more storage more storage so that's how we're looking on that and other than that we're about to lock it up and I'll see you guys in a little bit well guys heading out pretty cold out got a chance to uh go over a little got a chance to go over um a couple of google messages and for those that don't know bro add me on google so i could get the proper uh video notification so i can message you back if you don't add me on google i see that you messaged me on one of the videos but when i go to the video it's a little bit more complicated for me to go reply so just checking in. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, just waking up over here. And actually, I think I've been up for like an hour. And uh, it's uh, 10, 12. About like 70 degrees out. And I'm about to head out. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and return this. Dude, this shit is not worth nothing 35 percent not holding the charge so i'm hopefully hopefully if i'm lucky i could exchange it for store credit but i doubt it they're probably just gonna give me the same shitty ass fucking company battery again so we'll see how it goes yes dude they let me exchange it remember the other guy at the other pet boys he was like well there's no uh exchanges with the when it comes to batteries, we don't want to exchange it for the same battery. And then I'll come to a different Pet Boys, and I'll say, hey, bro, you know, this is a shitty battery. It doesn't even hold a charge. And he's like, all right, well, just look for anything else that you want. And like, we'll give you store credit or whatnot. And fucking, and, and so I went around and I was looking for this because I guess eventually when I get that deep cycle battery, I'm going to need a power inverter. And Automotive Vlog is like, well, dude, all you need is 400 watts to run TV and uh, uh, PlayStation 4 or something, you know? So, uh, this guy, he let me exchange it. I'm fucking happy on that shit, dude. So, I'm not sure if I want to take the risk on using my cigarette lighter with this just to charge up my cell phone at night. 
or what I'm gonna do, but I'm fucking happy, dude. I'm stoked. This is one step closer to uh, the next following month when I get my deep cycle battery. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Somebody said to me, wow, so you're really beating the Grim Reaper. And what I said without even thinking about is that we don't beat the Reaper by living longer. We beat the Reaper by living well and living fully. For the Reaper will come for all of us. The question is, what do we do between the time we're born and the time he shows up? Because when he shows up, it's too late to do all the things that you're always going to kind of get around to. So I think the only advice I can give you on how to live your life well is first off, remember, it is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Because I assure you, I've done a lot of really stupid things. And none of them bother me. All the mistakes and all the dopey things and all the times I was embarrassed, they don't matter. What matters is that I can kind of look back and say, pretty much any time I got a chance to do something cool, I tried to grab for it. And that's where my solace comes from. The second thing that I would uh, add to that, and I didn't coordinate on, on the subject of this word, but I think it's the right word that comes up, is passion and you will need to find your passion many of you have already done it many of you will later many of you may take till your 30s or 40s but don't give up on finding it right because then all you're doing is waiting for the people find your passion and follow it and if there is anything i have learned in my life you will not find that passion in things you will not find that passion in money because the more things and the more money you have the more you will just look around and use that as the metric and there will always be someone with more so your passion must come from the things that fuel you from the inside and honors and awards are nice things but only to the extent that they regard the real respect from your peers and to be thought well of by other people that you think even more highly of is a tremendous honor that I've been granted. Find your passion, and in my experience, no matter what you do at work, what you do in official settings,